What is going on you guys? Brandon here, AKA Brawadis, and today I'm going to be eating only Indian food for the next 24 hours. Now look, I be going through my YouTube comments, I be going through my Instagram DMs, and I see so many messages that say love from India, India loves you Brandon, come visit India when you get the chance. Bro, guys, from the day that I started my YouTube channel, I have seen nothing but love and support from the Indian community, so I figured a way I could repay you guys for all the support you guys show me is to learn more about the Indian culture, and what better way to do that than through the food? So let's go have some Indian food, guys. I'm excited. All right, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not an expert when it comes to Indian food, so I'm a little bit confused on what to order, but luckily, I have a close friend who's Indian that I've known for years and years and years, so I'm gonna give him a call right now and see what he recommends for food. Raj, what's up, man? Okay, so I'm about to eat some Indian food. What do I order? What are some good signature dishes? I trust you. You can always try your butter chicken. Okay. And the chicken tikka masala. That's like the staple Indian food you can have. Okay. So uh, butter so chicken. Butter chicken and chicken tikka masala, yeah. Okay, okay. That sounds good. And then you also gotta try the bread, the naan bread. Okay, okay. Garlic naan, butter chicken, chicken tikka masala. Tikka masala, yeah. Bro, perfect. All right, Raj. Thank yeah. you so much, bro. Hey, good stuff, man. Yeah, good yeah. Luck. Yeah, have a good day. All right, All right, All right guys. So we just pulled up to our first food spot. Punjabi Tandoor, cuisine of India. I'm excited to see how this tastes. Chicken tikka masala, butter chicken, okay. garlic naan. You want garlic naan? Please. And then uh, he said mango lassi for the drink. Chicken tikka masala, butter chicken, which one is your favorite? My favorite is the butter chicken. Butter chicken? Butter chicken. I should try that first? Yes. Okay, and then do I dip the garlic naan in the sauce too? Yes. Okay, thank you so much. Thank and you. what is this? Is this That's rice? Rice pudding. Rice pudding, okay. Don't mix with the food. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll remember that. Yeah, that's it. Okay, thank, thank you, you so much. much. All right, guys, so before I dig in, can you get a close-up on the plate? Bro, this looks so good. So over here, you got the butter chicken. Right here, you got the chicken tikka masala, some rice, garlic naan, rice pudding, and then mango lassi for the drink. Look, it's only right I start with the butter chicken because the nice man said this was his favorite, so let's try it out. Get a generous... Oh. Dude, it's so tender. Oh, my God, it's so tender. Look, it's falling apart. Get a nice, generous piece, and then... Right? Dude, so much flavor. So much fla- Bro, hold up. So much flavor in one bite. The spices go crazy. And I'm not talking spices like, ah, it's so spicy. No, no, no. I mean, like, like there's so much flavor. Like, what I'm trying to say is they were not shy with the seasoning. You could taste so many different flavors and it's so bomb. Dude, now I see why you said this is your favorite. It makes sense. The butter chicken, 10 out of 10, no debate. Now let's try the chicken tikka masala. Okay. Again, same thing, so much flavor, so many different spices. The Indian community knows how to get down in the kitchen. They know what they're doing with these spices. They know how to cook. There's so many different flavors, but yo, Indian food is bomb. Indian food is really, really good. Bro, I need it with some rice though. It's so good. It calls for the phase rug walk away. Okay guys, so what I noticed about Indian food that I love very much, look, get a close up on this. Usually when I order chicken from restaurants, it's um, sometimes the chicken comes out dry or chewy or it's very like, it's tough, it's tough. But look at this. This is chicken right here. Look how tender and how soft it is. Look how easy it breaks apart. Look, look at this. Boom, it's so soft, it's so tender. But he did say that you gotta take the bread and dip it. So let's get a close up on this. I'm gonna dip it with the butter chicken, bro. Let's get some chicken right here. Some rice. I don't know if I'm doing this right. I apologize, I'm not trying to offend anybody or be disrespectful to anybody from the Indian community, but I, I don't know if I'm doing this right. I really hope I am. Bro, when I tried the butter chicken with the rice, it was already a 10 out of 10. But eating it with the garlic naan just adds a whole new flavor. The, the garlic from the bread, dude. Oh my gosh, bro. It has a perfect mix of like the outside is crispy. Look, it's flaky. But then you get to the middle, 
and it's so soft. That, that's the perfect mix. You like it crunchy, you eat from the outside. You want it soft, you get from the middle. Dude, I don't know how I don't rate this a 10 out of 10. If anything, this is a, a 11 out of 10, 12 out of 10. It's better than a 10 out of 10, bro. So far, everything has tasted really good. And let's just say, I'm happy that this is the video I chose to film today because we're gonna be eating Indian food for the next 24 hours. And I don't know the last time I've been this excited to film a YouTube video, bro. I almost forgot. Mango Lassi. Bro, okay, people are gonna think I'm lying because I'm rating everything so high. People are gonna think I'm lying because every single thing I've tried, I only have good things to say. But if you know me, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I'm an honest man. I don't cap, I don't lie. So I'm just being honest. Every single thing I've tried has tasted so, so good. Um, if you ask me what I like more, the chicken tiki masala or the butter chicken, I think they're both good, but I'm gonna have to go with the butter chicken. It just has a little bit more flavor, but I wanna know what you guys think. If you've tried butter chicken, if you've tried chicken tiki masala, comment down below which one is your favorite. All right, guys, so after doing a little bit of research on the Indian culture, it actually says that a lot of Hindus are vegetarian. So for my lunch today, I think we're gonna go with only vegetarian options. Let's see how this goes. Dad, mom, are you guys ready to try some Indian food? Yes, yes. we are. Okay, so what we're having for lunch, this is actually all vegetarian options. There's actually a lot of people in the Indian community that don't eat meat, they're vegetarian. So if we get a close up over here, Dennis. So first we have some curry lentil soup, and then we have some vegetable samosa. Over here we have some malai kofta. This right here is a masala bindi. And now it's time to try it. Let's do it. I think we should start with the soup because the soup is supposed to be warm. We don't want to let it get cold. So curry lentil soup. This is good. Wait, we have something like this. Lentil is my favorite and we make it, but not with curry. We make lentil yeah. soup all the time. Floche, yeah. yeah. So guys, for those who don't know our background, we're from Iraq, Iraq. Mm -hmm. And we actually always eat a soup, which is like this called floche. It's lentil soup. But I think the difference, the curry lentil soup is, it's really spicy, right? Yeah. Yeah, has a lot of flavor. What I noticed, the Indian style lentil soup, it has a lot more spice. Ours, it's a similar taste, but it's not spicy though. But I think this is still really good. I like it. If you like spicy food, then this soup would be good for you. For me, <laughs> it's, it's kind of spicy. I'm almost done. Hey, my mom, my mom <laughs> loves lentil soup mm -hmm. ever since we were little kids. So uh, I guess there are similarities with Indian food and uh, our type of food from Iraq. We use the spices uh, India. We when I used to live in my city, we have a mall of well, Indian spice. spices. Mm -hmm. The whole mall, like a street with all the Indian spices. Wait, back home in Iraq? Yeah. Yes. Oh, awesome. really? Oh. Mall. Okay, so I guess there, there are a lot of similarities with the Indian culture and then our culture from Iraq. So that's cool. Okay, next. We are going to try a vegetable samosa. We have something exactly, it's, they call it sambusa. We stuff it with anything you like. Sometimes you do meat and what else? Rice vegetable. and dates. Okay, Let's so. Let's try this. Wait, what's crazy? So not only are the dishes similar, but the name. Samosa, sambusa. sambusa. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, here you go, Dad. Mom, you didn't grab one, you just started talking. <laughs> I know, because I... Uh, okay, can you tell us what is this stuff? I this see peas. Vegetable. Yeah, it's vegetable. Okay. There's, there's no meat. Any sauce? There are actually three... Yeah. Guys, get a close-up on here. So I'm not too educated, like I said, mm -hmm. when it comes to Indian food. I'm still starting to learn. But it came with three sauces. Um, I'm not sure which one we're supposed to dip it in, but... I hope this is the hot sauce. My mom loves spicy. Yes. Oh my God, it's too spicy. Really? <laughs> oh my God. Okay. If anybody watching this video has tried this sauce, Ooh. is Mama Rug overreacting or is it really spicy? It's habanero. No. Well, this is super good though. It is good. No, mom, you're right. This reminds you of what we used to eat Dude, as kids. I swear, even the stuffing. That's great. I really, when I woke up and decided to do a trying Indian food video, I thought it was going to be stuff that my tongue has never tasted. Stuff that has never entered my body. But what's crazy is me trying these foods, they actually taste really familiar from my childhood. So the similarities with my culture and Indian culture is something I didn't know. Like you learn new things every day. So I'm actually really glad that I'm doing this video because not only is the food good, but I'm learning a lot about the Indian culture. And you guys know how much love we get from the Indian community, you see the comments. Yes. Mm -hmm. So from India, India. from India, from India, love from India, support yes. from India. Yes. So Thank I'm, you, guys. you know, the least we could do is just learn more about the culture, and I'm glad we're able to do that today. So next up, guys, okay, we're just gonna go all in. We got two of the main dishes. So we have the masala bindi and the kofta. I don't know which one you guys want to try first. They both look good. No, just give me my fork. Okay, okay. <laughs> here you go, Dad. I'm gonna try. Okay, I guess we're going in for really this mm -hmm. one. This is all veggies, guys. No meat. 
small veggie. Mm -hmm. I good. love the onion, the taste of red onion. There you go. Mm. This is good. Again, just like the first meal I had, so many different flavors in one bite, but not in a bad way. They all go well together. Like whoever makes Indian food, you guys know how to season your food. Like there's so much flavor. So They're much flavor, known right? for their spices and yeah. flavor, yeah. yeah. So this is good. This is mm -hmm. really good. I'm not gonna lie. I'm more of a, I like to eat meat. When I, when I get food, it, usually I like the protein, but surprisingly, everything I've ate for this part of the video, even though it has been vegetarian, it's all tasted really good. Where is that? Is that meat? Kofta? It looks like a meat meatball. meatball. It does, yeah, guys, look up close. It does look like meatballs. Uh, but no, it's actually kofta. So, so I want to see what's on the inside. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, obviously there's no meat. I can't really tell what it's made out of, but I guess we're going to try it. Here you go, mom. Cheers. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Mm. That the this guy kind of like uh, clam, clam chowder. chowder. Oh, it does taste like clam chowder, right? Oh my gosh, yeah, dude, that's good. It's good. It that's, is crab it, cake. Wait, is this crab? That's what I was thinking. That's why Ron said clam chowder. I said I think it's seafood inside. It does have a seafood uh -huh. taste. So. Oh my Look God, mom, more. you love seafood. Yes. Dude, you love Indian food. Indian food, Spicy, I love it. lentils, seafood. Mm. Hey, yo, everyone has their own taste buds and everyone has their own food that they like, but I'm sorry, if you don't like Indian food, mm -hmm. your taste buds are messed up. Cause so far, everything that I've tried today has been bomb. Now, I'm gonna wait a couple hours cause I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm full. Imagine everything you guys ate here, I had an extra meal in the morning. So uh, I'm gonna wait a couple hours, rest a little bit, and then go have some more Indian food for dinner. Uh, can we do uh, the chicken biryani? Chicken biryani? How yeah. spicy? Mild, medium, or hot? Uh, I think mild is fine. And then can we do the sag? Okay. Is veggie like the most popular option? The sag paneer is most popular? I think we'll we'll try just the paneer. Sag just paneer? Sag yes, please. Okay. And then uh, can we do the, how do I pronounce this? Gulab jamun. Gulab jamun, yeah. Can we do two of those? Yeah, and then lastly, can we do two of the thumbs up? Any other, other dishes? Any tikka masala or any butter chicken? I think that'll be it, bro. Okay. Thank you so uh, much. Okay, guys. So we have our dinner over here. Look, we got our main dish, which is chicken biryani. We got some sag paneer over here. Another veggie option. Over here, we got our dessert, galab jamun. And then we have our thumbs up, which is like an Indian cola. Never tried this before, so I'm excited to try it. All right, guys, so we got a very special guest joining us for today's dinner. Say what up, Dennis. What's good? I'm actually really excited for Dennis to try this because, Dennis, you want to tell them something? I've never had Indian food before. It's my first time having Indian food. Never had Indian food? Never. Dennis, I know you want to dig into the food. It looks bomb, but I kind of want to try the cola first. I just want to see how similar it is to Coke. It's good, but it tastes different than Coke. You know what it tastes like? What? Like a little bit watered down Coke. It tastes... Hold on, hold on, hold on. It has like an extra, like, I don't know if it's like cherry or like, it has like an added flavor, like an added syrup at the end, bro. I don't know if that makes sense, bro, but like it tastes like Coke in the beginning, but then at the end, it's like a boom. Like you get different hit. Different aftertaste? Yeah, it's a different aftertaste. You get hit with a different flavor. Okay, so obviously we'll save the dessert for last, but do you want to start with the chicken biryani or the sog? I want to start with this, the biryani? chicken biryani. Yep. Okay, this is a sauce that goes on the chicken biryani. I think it's called rainy. But you said you drizzle it on the on your rice. Sorry guys if I'm not pronouncing these right. Uh, I'm trying my best. I think it's called rainy. All right. Oh yeah. Okay, ready? Yep. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Bro, I just say I know where I'm coming when I'm hungry. Am I gonna start eating Indian food every single day? This is so good. And it has a perfect level of spice. Dennis, you want an egg? Mm -mm. I do. The chicken biryani is so good. So good. I want to say it's my favorite thing I've tried in this video, but that butter chicken that I had in the morning, that was different. I think the chicken biryani is second on my list, but that butter chicken was number one. Number one for sure. I love butter chicken. That's my favorite Indian dish. You know what I like? Huh? You. Okay, stop, 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 stop. You said it. We joke. Hey, I'm enjoying everything right now. Imagine me, how lucky I am. I've been eating this all day. I've been enjoying my whole day. How about that? Can we do a part two tomorrow? Okay, guys, next we are going to try the sog paneer. I've never tried this before, but I've always heard about sog. So, like, are you supposed to put it with, with rice? Is that what this is for? 
Guys, I'm so sorry for doing this wrong. They gave us white rice. So I'm not sure if you're supposed to eat the sog with the rice or if you eat it by itself. Okay, how about this? That way one of us is right and one of us is wrong. We'll each do it differently. You eat it with the rice, I'll eat it by itself, yeah? Right okay. <laughs> hey, you guys can't blame us, we're trying. We're rookies, but we're trying, okay? Okay, I'm gonna do it by itself. You do it with some rice. Okay. Oh, it's hot. Spicy too. It's good. I like it. It's spicy for sure. It is spicy. It's definitely one of the spicier things that I've had today. Ooh. It is spicy. <laughs> it's spicy. Imagine we're getting mild for these things and they're spicy. I swear we're... So what's gonna happen if we get like medium? I swear we ordered everything mild and we're burning, bro. Okay, Dennis, the last thing we gotta try, galab jamun, some dessert. Hey, I'm excited for that. You know there's something in like our culture that's like Middle Eastern that is like these, they're like oh, balls. I think it's the same, it comes with baklava, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's the same thing, bro. Really? I swear. But it's not like this. No, no, yeah. it is, it is like this. It's like this, bro. We have this in our culture. I've ate this a lot of times before, ever it's since good. I was a kid. But I like the way they do it too, they have it in the syrup. Yeah, look at, when we get it with our baklava, it's not submerged in the syrup, but over here, the way it is in the Indian culture, look, there's a lot of syrup, so. It's really good, very sweet. Come on, if you guys know me, you know I'm addicted to sweets, I'm addicted to dessert. I give that a 10 out of 10. I'll give that a 10. Dude, you know what I love about it? It's warm. Yeah. This is warm, so it like melts in your mouth, bro. I like that, that's a 10 for me. Dude, I think this was a 10, and not just this, everything we tried, so. Honestly, you guys have heard my thoughts on Indian food all video, but I'm interested to hear Dennis's thoughts Someone who has never tried Indian food until right now. Dennis, tell the camera what you think. All right The dessert was amazing. Everything was so good. I give this whole experience this whole meal a 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 I swear I like Indian food. All right guys, that is going to close out today's video I'm really really full. I ate so much food today, but everything was so amazing I rate my overall experience a 10 out of 10, but before I close this video out I would like you guys to do me a huge favor. So I tried Indian food today. It was amazing, but I I want you guys to comment down below what other culture food I should try for a video in the future because I love food videos and I love trying different foods from different cultures. So hit my comment section down below. Other than that, it has been your boy, Brandon, aka Bawadis. And that is the end of today's video. Peace.